Hey, what's up, everybody? I think we're good. I think we got focus. Looks like we got audio. What's up, Patty and Dimitri? Matt Ford? Obfuscurity? Pudgy? Bubbers? Astromater? As Astronomator? Astronomer? Oh, is that? Yeah. <laughs> Alex? Rockies to it? What's up? I just watched your uh, mountain biking video earlier this week or when I was down over the weekend with my back. So I didn't realize I hadn't subscribed back to your channel, Rock. So now I've started to check out your videos. Uh, Raymond, what's up? Rick, how's it going? Cycling Brian's in here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better, guys. I'm in, I think this will probably only be an hour max stream because I need to sit very upright. I don't want to stand anymore, which is because I've been standing and working on stuff all day. So yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, I tweaked my back on Thursday. I don't really know what I did, but it's the same thing I've done when it's been something sudden where I've like stood up too quick or like twisted. So I don't know if it was throwing my camera over my shoulder or it's the way I got off my bike. I got to an event, was working it. And basically when I had to um, get back on my bike, I found I had to lean it all the way over. <laughs> throw the leg over and ride and then so yeah I was busy all weekend and I got through so it never got as bad as I was worried it would I didn't ride but that was a mix between being really busy and the weather just being crappy here and now it's nice and I did 16 miles yesterday and 10 miles today you know I didn't do anything wildly off-road yet but yeah so I'm feeling glad that it's not it didn't like lay me up but I'm also nervous that it's going to turn into sciatic nerve pain because that's always what happens to me so yeah, I couldn't think of a title for this stream, so that's what I named it. But yeah. yeah, I appreciate everyone's advice. It's most of the advice is really good. Um, there's some really bad advice too. <laughs> or it's not that people give me ever like bad advice. It's that like there's like I was I was just talking to Dave before we came on. People like say stuff that's just not helpful. Like I was saying sometimes like Say it, you just gotten hit on your bike by a car, and then someone's comment was, "Well, you should be more careful." You know, that's not helping. <laughs> like, you know, that's that's annoying. Like, you know, some like if you only talk about like all the things I should like, well, you live your life like a piece of shit, and so that's why this happened. You should change your what you do. Is the gist of some of them, and that's the rarer one. So I'm not like I don't want to make it seem like that's everything, but yeah, sometimes people do leave like fairly insensitive comments. The overwhelming majority are people trying to help, and I do appreciate it. I read them all, and I'm like, let's see if any of this stuff I feel like is going to work for my situation. So, hey, what's up, Sam Diaz? How are you doing? <laughs> A black cat crossed my path. Yeah, every day. <laughs> hey, what's up, Donald? Yeah, there are some spring flowers popping up. How much are you seeing on the... Working outside, I've noticed a little, little bit. Little white ones. The little white, the snowdrops or whatever. Yeah. Those come. Those come early. Tons we, of those. We had those in February, but I've seen people posting. Are the purple ones crocuses? The real crocuses. Early spring, yeah, Cro we got the actual spring flowers up in. What's the? Uh, I've seen the shoots of daffodils, but no, I mean they're not going to flower yet. But I've actually ton of daffodils. Yeah. yeah. Alex asked if I think warmer weather would help. No, it's really like, it's like more like slipping a disc. That's why a lot of like the muscle advice, it's not irrelevant because, you know, when you tighten up your back, all these other problems start, your back is just tightening up itself to protect what you did. But um, now I, I, the heating pad helps a lot, but I don't think like warmer weather in general does. It really is like, <laughs> I tweaked it and I slipped something, you know what I mean? I, kind of pinch the disc or whatever it is so yeah oh mike you said you're just recovering from three cracked ribs ah i've definitely cracked one i've never gone to the doctor for it because it's kind of the thing they don't do anything about but never bad enough to keep me off the bike so uh david jefferson you're in pa number of pa people in here What's up, Raymond? Yeah, Bubbers had said, have you tried having a healthier back? Like, that is like, that is what some of like, like I said, it's the way, it's the minority. You know, unfortunately, those stick out in your mind because they're a little annoying. But 
that is the gist of some of those comments. Like, you know, someone recommended that, you know, I should have been on a lower carb diet and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, okay, thanks. Like, you know, other people have like suggested things I could do in life to be better, but not with that kind of attitude of like, well, you brought this on yourself, you piece of shit, you know? <laughs> Yeah, James, I've heard of stuff like that, you know, getting back pain. That's the thing. Like, I'm not really getting – it's the thing that I think some people aren't catching when I say I tweaked it. I mean, I really – even though I don't know what I did this time, like, it's it's something that is – you know, it's like a switch. It's like when you hurt your neck or you pull a muscle, it's – there was a moment that made this happen. I just didn't realize it where I usually have, so – Uh, yeah, just disabled with your low back and most comfortable position as leaning forward on the bike. I've talked to a lot of, a lot of people who feel like that, especially with the sciatica. A number of people are like, when I have sciatica, the only time I feel comfortable is when I'm riding my bike. Uh, channel member Madison said the same thing. And that's once the sciatica kicks in, I'm the same way sitting at my computer to start stay. I stand at my computer is miserable. I can't even sit on the couch, but when I'm riding my bike, I feel fine. How's it going, mountain biker boy? Let's see. Hog dog, you were saying uh, THC cream on your sore back? Yeah. See, again, uh, that's the kind of stuff that would help, like, the aftermath a little bit with my, like, icy hot helps a little bit. But the problem is, like, the pain is, like, it's deep. It's in the, like I said, like a disc-like type issue, the nerve being pinched or whatever it is, so... So I don't feel like topical stuff helps the core of my problem is basically what I'm saying. And I'm not saying that doesn't mean it wouldn't help other back issues, which is another thing with the internet. It's always a problem. You, you, someone like gives you advice and you're like, that advice would work if this were my issue. I see that that works for you. You know, that's not what I have going on here. So that <laughs> Christopher Webb said, my advice is helpful. If you lose something, I'll be the first to let you know it's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> where'd you leave it? You lost something? Where'd you, where'd you have it last? Well, if I knew that, it wouldn't be lost. You know. <laughs> ah, shit, now I can't think of his name. Yeah, have you seen Johnny? Uh, he could be in the... Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had a guy who... Who felt like he had to answer any question, whether he was asked or like whether he knew the answer or not. When we worked at Slay's, the farm, and be like, "Hey, do you know where Johnny's at?" And this guy, he talked like if you could picture the alien from Men in Black when he puts the human skin on and doesn't quite fit right, and he talked like that guy too. Well, I don't know. Last time I saw him was about half an hour ago, and he was down in the red barn. It's like <laughs> that's not you're not helping. You're not adding anything, and you're talking louder than the people who know the answer. You know. <laughs> Why can't we think of his name? What was his name? I want to say it was John, but it, there was a... But no one... Everyone had a nickname. I, I think his name was John, but no one called him that. Chatty. Chatty. No one called him Chatty, uh, for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Sam said, I think you need to drink more beers to fix it. <laughs> yeah. I had actually taken a break because, you know, obviously alcohol and stuff is, I guess, inflammatory, but I am having one to fix it tonight, so... It looks like you've been riding some interesting places, Sam, from your Instagram, too. What's up, Places Lost? Uh, Alex said the bloom is already here in the coastal southwest. Yeah. We had snow on Sunday, so it snowed. Man, if, it, if, if we hadn't had that warm weather, I feel like it would have piled up. But when I woke up, there was an inch out there, and it kept snowing all day, but it just wouldn't really stick. I think the ground right. has warmed up, right? Yep. Edmund is going bonkers. <laughs> a mountain biker boy sa said, I bought shark cartilage supplements for two years and regrew some cartilage in my back. Not saying it works for everyone. Huh. That's something I've never heard. Yeah. Do you have two sets of teeth now? <laughs> <laughs> I 
back and I swim like a fish. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Black Ball? Rick asked if I've tried Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hog Dog, you've blown out of this completely. Yeah, the one chiropractor, the one time I went, did x-ray it, and it did show that it was like that kind of thing, like a <laughs> pinch or something. I don't know if the mic's picking that up, but Edmund is in a real mood tonight. Huh, Blackwell said, big fan of cannabis balms for sore joints, too. And I know, I think Pudgy was saying, I think he uses CBD, but very, like, regimented, too. Because, like, I've heard that that doesn't work if you just try it once in a while or whatever. Hey, what's up, Donald? Hog dog, you said you got off the opiates. Yeah, I've said even for like my sciatica nerve pain, like the opiates did nothing for me. Um, like I, I did get some from friends just when I was in so much pain with the sciatica just to get some relief. And the only thing I found is that then I felt a little high and in pain. It didn't do me any good for that kind of like nerve, like pain like that. The Advil is the only thing that works. And I know a bunch of people lectured me about taking Advil. I try to minimize it. I eat food first. I drink a ton of water when I do it. But it's that anti-inflammatory quality of ibuprofen. I don't buy Advil. I buy the, obviously, just ibuprofen, but everyone knows what Advil is. So, and that's the only thing that works. And when I was saying in the video that I took it on Friday morning, I didn't know what my situation was going to be. And, like, over the weekend, I had, like, $1,000 worth of work. So that I, you know, that was my couple weeks right there, you know. So I needed to do those jobs if I could. So I woke up early, what I was saying, took the ibuprofen, went to back to bed to give it like an hour to kick in, and then went to work. I found that, oh, that's not really affecting what I have going on, and I didn't take any more of the rest of the, I haven't taken any more. But when it's the sciatic nerve pain and it helps, and it's the difference between being able to function and not function, when someone tells you, oh, that's bad for you, and it's like, I get that, but I can't, I'm a freelancer, I can't lay in bed. You know what I mean? That just is what it is. Oh, so hog dog, you've gone the surgery route. A couple of people were telling me to see surgeons and all that, and I'm not going to. So, like, that's just not what I, I know. I'm just not there. That's the last thing I want. That's to do. last resort. Like, but I'm not so disabled that you know it hasn't been so bad. Not disabled is the wrong word, but yeah. Hey, what's up, Kenny? Um, I am planning to ride tomorrow, Kenny, but I have a shoot, and I'm not sure when I'm going to be done. So. We're doing like setup shots at 4.30 and there's an event at 5.30, but I didn't get the gist of whether I'm actually working that event or we're getting the shots and all those people are there because it's an event. This is my entire life. I never really know what's going on <laughs> until I show up. So my plan is to ride, but we'll see. Yeah, and Hog Dog, it's not always what... it's. Some things work for some people and some work for other people, but also there's just so many different kinds of back injuries. You know, I mean, it's... I mean. Edmund again. Hey, what's up, Robin? Real life. Yeah, James said the only thing that helps you when you have back pain is time. And that's kind of with me. The heating pad is like with this particular injury, it doesn't do a lot for sciatica. I actually do more icing with that and then let it warm up. For this, the heating pad, like if I sit down like and eat lunch with the heating pad behind me, then when I get up, I'm like loose for a while. It's really helpful. So. That's also why I'm saying I won't stream very long tonight because no matter what position I sit in, like I just get stiff. I either need to move or kind of be on the heating pad. So, hey, what's up, Chris FYB? Oh, yeah, that sounds miserable. Yeah, nerve damage from epidural crap. God. Oh, Alex, you can see snow-capped mountains from where you work. Nice. 
how Patty Redbeard said you can see Edmund, he sounds like the cat from outer space. Yeah, he's like, what is that, yowling and running around and yeah. Have you tried growing backwards? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just need to Dorian Gray it. I need morphine for sciatica. I, yeah. Morphine's one of the few drugs that is actually, like I have like, it's just as high uh, tolerance for like pain medication. But when I had a hernia operation and after they had me on morphine, I was like, oh, this works. This feels really nice. I could definitely be a junkie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Micah, what's up? Got all our local friends in here tonight. Where's my skull bar? I can't see where my skull bar in the chat is. Oh. Flexerol. I did, I think I tried some, my one Rick who I bought my building from, his wife is a nurse, and I, I did try like a regimen of muscle react, relaxers that she had. The problem was it destroyed my stomach so bad. And I took some on the farm when I pulled my neck really bad mm. that I think that, that we had a doctor down. They had a doctor that would give us whatever we needed. So we would, you know, Dave would keep working. <laughs> <laughs> stitch Justin on, stitch, right up on, yeah, on site. Stitch him up at lunch and he's back working after lunch, that kind of thing. But yeah, I've ne any muscle relaxer I've ever taken has just destroyed my stomach that i'm like well this is no better because now instead of being in pain i'm just in the bathroom so yeah sleep position two racer i don't sleep on my stomach anymore um everyone about the back had told me that like my my friend who was giving me massages for the sciatica the chiropractor i went to who does like the adjustment thing which i do like i don't feel like it heals me but i do feel better after it but um, yeah, so I have switched my sleep position too. So. Oh, nice, Kenny. Donald said the glu let's see, glucosamine chondroitin. So that's another cartilage type thing. Not sure if they use sharks or not. Just uh. Ask your dentist. <laughs> it's for like ligaments, joints, and stuff. Oh, ligaments and joints. So I wonder if it is kind of the same thing to increase the cartilage. Hey, Mike. Yeah, I um, like the stretching thing. Yeah, I've been, and that's what I was saying. That's what's really frustrating is since New Year's, I've been trying to do um, some stuff that uh, PT recommended to me uh, last time I was injured, but trying to do mostly like. I've been doing stretching, but also trying to do a lot of like core strength training, uh, feeling like that, like, you know, stuff like sit-ups and, and then lateral stuff. Cause I've always heard that's a big problem with being a bike. So, uh, Christopher Webb, like a lot of people ask me about the recumbent bike thing. I don't feel like my injuries are from riding. Uh, but I, I'm not saying I would never ride a recumbent bike, just like I would ride a knee bike when I can't get around on the bike the way I want. Like, it's just not the way I ride. It's the places I ride and where I want to ride a recumbent would be, you know, like I said, if I get to the point where I could just ride bike pass and I have to go down there and ride a recumbent just to be able to ride a little bit, I will, but that's just not the style of riding that I really do. So at this point in life, so. But again, like I could go, I rode my bike today. Like right now I could feel the pain when I rode my bike today, there wasn't any pain. I, I really think that I have a weakness in my back. It could be from years of lifting heavy stuff on the farm. But when it first happened really bad, I was working in the garden, pulled a weed and stood up with a twist. And it was like a, and I was down for two weeks. And I feel like that weakness still exists. That's why for me, I feel like trying to keep loose, but trying to do stuff that strengthens the core is important just to keep it from happening. I just feel like when it happens, I'm just screwed and it's what level am I going to be screwed on? So, yeah, and some people swear by the inversion table. I haven't tried that. I have another friend who is a contractor and he swears by hanging. And those are both just from, you know, just hanging on, just hanging on, hanging. That's what it is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to explain it. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I I agree, Cycling Brian. Like, I feel in every book, everyone is recommended about back health and stuff like that. It's surgery is absolutely last resort, and you know, if you could put it off, put it off. Try to everything else first. Yeah. Oh, Rick said, put a new bid on a college client. Nice. Yeah. University of Akron, Rick, has turned out to be so good for me. I just had a friend at the law school years ago, and that got me in the door. And now when they need someone, they have a couple guys. But, yeah, excuse me a ton. It's been last year that I think the university was by far my biggest uh, client. I think there were days where we had two things, where you were shooting something at the university and so was I. But I need to speak to you about that. There is an event coming up I might need your help with. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun one it's like it's spring fest i was wondering if they're doing that because isn't that the thing they do at lock three uh no that was a that was like a kickoff they only did that uh. one year that was alumni this will be student i can't remember what it's called i guess it's the wrong time of year for that anyway hmm No, I agree, Racer. I like. I'm not. You know, I know you have your specific, um, you know, eating philosophy. But I I do think like health stuff. I mean, I don't. I do understand that beer is not good for you. And like, other people were like, you know, talking about turmeric and stuff like that, and it's anti-inflammatory. I get that. And I was just a lot of my thing was like in the context of what it's already happened, and it's like, you know, some tea with. Is it? Do you pronounce it turmeric or turmeric? Turmeric. 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 I'm like, that's not going to, you know, help me right now. But you're right. Like, long-term stuff, there is definitely things you could do to feel, you know, to be living better, to keep stuff from happening. I don't disagree with that. And morphine for everything. <laughs> yeah, you're saying you had to walk like a pirate after you couldn't use your leg. I was just telling Dave when I happened... And I showed in the video, but I stopped at, I stopped and got dinner and stopped at the brewery and sat on a bar stool. And then when I got up to walk out of there, I looked like a, like a drunk old man. It was horrible. And I saw people I knew sitting at a table who like worked for this company and I'm trying to walk as normal as possible, which probably made me look more like a drunk old man. So Maybe Edmund has cast a curse upon my back and now I need an exorcism. <laughs> uh, Melissa said, what you drinking and smoking? Not smoking anything, but I'm drinking a Columbus Devil's Kush, which sounds like I'm smoking something. Oh, Rob, you said your wife had surgery for sciatica? They burnt some nerve endings, yeah. I have a friend, Bob, you know, who pops in here. His sciatica just came back, and he's been struggling, but I know he's had, uh, he's had, I think he had a surgery that helped for a while, but, yeah, I'm definitely holding off on that. Uh, Kratom? Yeah, I've never, I have friends who do Kratom. I, that, I've steered clear of it for the, just for the fact that Kratom is, uh, habit forming and addictive I don't know how much so I haven't used it myself but like the studies show that it is so it's always made me a little nervous so so Melissa asked what stretches I'm doing and Rick said the exercise I'm doing may have stopped the sciatica from kicking in, which I'm hoping, and I same thing with the heating pad, maybe that's helping keeping it like loo loose and stuff like that. But yeah, I have a I have a little routine. I don't want to go through it now, but like some of it as simple as just like leaning back um, and stuff like that. But yeah, I have a little I don't know a little routine that I've from people's advice here and from what the PT has told me. So. I, strength training wise, like I said, sit ups and push ups, and I I do like leg lifts and clamshells and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. 
a lot of the stuff I do is is yoga. It's funny because the it was I can't remember if it was a chiropractor, but he kept like telling me this stuff, but he wouldn't just call it yoga. And I don't know if he thought I would be like, oh, that's gay, mm-hmm. you know? That's like the gay. vibe I got, like that I wouldn't do it because like I don't know. It turned out later too, like tor- towards the pandemic, they weren't like wearing masks, and I think they were very religious, so whatever. <laughs> so they probably think yoga's gay. <laughs> It would all be, you know, that all kind of goes together. Not to get political or anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, Racer. I started doing push-ups in the new year. I'm up to 10. I, I also, I don't know. I was watching this thing on, I don't know, some kind of news show, and they were talking about the tiny percentage of Americans that could do 20 push-ups. And that just made me want to be able to do 20 push-ups really bad. So I've stuck at 10 now for a couple of weeks, but the goal is to keep adding a couple till I could get to 20. Just one of these, uh, I don't know, things things that I make myself do for the hell of it. <laughs> Turmeric chicken salad with tallow blue cheese dressing is delicious. <laughs> it sounds delicious. Oh, yeah, Sam asked about gravel recumbents. Yeah, I, I I mean, the problem is, yeah, like I said, we ride, like, stupid stuff, and that's what I want to ride and be able to ride for a while. Plus, where I live, I've brought this up before, but I couldn't ride out my door on a recumbent and get where I'm going, and that's what my riding usually starts as. Like, it would be sketchy as hell to ride around here on a recumbent. So. Did I actually? I'm not. I'm actually keeping up on the chat tonight. Is no one in here? Is everyone bored with my injury commentary? <laughs> oh yeah, there's Bob. What's up? I did have the surgery. That's what I thought. Sitting on the heating pan with your tens unit today was a good day. Oh, good. Good to hear that, Bob. Yeah, uh, Aaron. Aaron brought over a borrowed tens unit, but then I never ended up using it. I was just in so much pain when I, I just, yeah. Or I didn't figure it out. I can't remember. But uh, William from Minnesota. As Ohio people, do you consider Ohio part of the Midwest? I grew up considering it part of the Midwest because it is the Midwest. But people have started to associate the Midwest as geographically now. If you've seen it drawn as the re- the actual region, Ohio sticks out in the into the east as part of the midwest but and it for the original definition of the term it is and we all say midwestern and that kind of stuff but i've kind of started to switch to like great lakes and stuff like that just because of other people from the outside not considering ohio the midwest anymore because they look at the geographic nature of the country but yes historically ohio is considered the midwest and that term came about before you know there was the extreme west so (coughs) You should try hot yoga. Yeah, I've I've been I've been interested in doing more serious yoga. One of my things is I don't like I'm not into gyms, I'm not into going places. And my one friend Brad who did yoga instructing for a while, he's like you could watch YouTube videos but without an actual instructor, you'll never be doing it quite right. And I've let that kind of deter me from doing it any kind of yoga more, but I should just like go to some of those cyclists from YouTube channels. Psych Yoga for Cyclists YouTube channels you guys have recommended me because I think it would still be better than nothing. But hey, what's up, Brad? Yeah, feeling feeling a little better. Unfiltered ale is made with hard water and calcium. Yeast vitamin. B. Yeah, I don't drink filtered lagers. That's for sure. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Oh man, hog dog, you got all kinds of issues. That sucks. I bet you have bad wrists and you do push ups making a fist. Huh. Oh yeah, that would be that'd be interesting. I should I want to try that just to see. I usually do them on my hardwood floor. I'd probably want to do that on carpet. Oh Alex, mount those mountain bike recumbents. Yeah, I've seen videos of people doing stuff, but 
Rick, man, you are all about the B67. I would try one one day. I just don't. I, man, I've got to. I just don't want to invest in one right now. I've got like, I'm not unhappy with the 17s in the position I ride in. Uh, Patty, you said, oh, hang on. Mario El Romo super chatted $5. $5 from Mario El Romo. I can do 20 push ups, but still not any faster than 12 miles per hour. Tired face. <laughs> Tired face. <laughs> Thanks, Mario. Yeah. I love the way it pronounced it the second time. Is that what you were laughing Romeo. at? Romeo. Yeah. It like added a syllable. Oh, anyways, thanks again, Mario. <laughs> but Patty said to add volume to push ups, pull ups, whatever. Yeah. Start with either one or 10, whichever you can do today, and then add one, one more each day for 30 days. That's what I was kind of doing. I was doing a, I was doing a couple, like I, I think I started with five for the push ups, and then I was adding like, but I was like with push ups, I had to like, wait, I had to space it out more. So I had to do six for a few days, and then seven for a few days. But at some point, I did skip to ten. I'm like, I think I could do more, but I knew that if I just tried to do a bunch right away, you just like it hurts too much, it feels shitty, and then you just quit doing it. So I did kind of like pace myself. Ohio is the Cornhusker state. <laughs> yeah, the heart of it all. I was taught to call that area the Rust Belt. Yeah, I mean, that's that's another thing. But the entire Midwest, that doesn't like, it doesn't work for as much, you know. So, but definitely the area I live, it works for. <laughs> Don't Rust, get me wrong. The Rust I'm, Belt has a... There's an actual layout. Of yeah, there's an actual the... belt of the Rust Belt. There's places in the Midwest that you would not consider part of the Rust Belt. So, I, Columbus is not in the Rust Belt. You know, like, mm. like it passes. You know, more through here. But ah, <laughs> the buckle of the Rust Belt. Yeah, up here, like I said, Columbus is yeah, not like this at all. But again, you're t someone who was. One of my the gig that I was doing when I messed up my back was watching them tear down this beautiful old factory building from 1905, you know, in an area that's completely depressed where we cut through. You guys, if you watch the video, you saw the trash and the stray cats and everything. I call Cincinnati South by Midwest. Yeah, Cincinnati's kind of interesting, you know, because it's so different than up here. Like, you know, it's a town on it's a river town the architecture is river style like it's the feeling is completely different and then you know it's almost more kentucky you know it's almost more what foothills of the mountains down there it's just a very different yeah cleveland and akron don't don't feel anything like cincinnati and dayton and then columbus is actually now very new so they you know, and the middle of the state is flat as can be and very different than up here as well, the Columbus area. So, hey, what's up, D'Amico? You said you don't know if I'm self-insured, but your wife has done some stuff, and she's just starting Sword Health. It's a physical therapy therapy that you do remotely with a the tablet they send you. Huh? Self-insured is one way of putting it. <laughs> Ah, Tai Bo. Yeah, I remember whenever it was Tai Bo had like its moment when a ton of people were doing it. Huh, you're saying Oklahoma, they call it a Midwest state now. See, yeah, that, yeah. To me, it's Southwest, but historically, I would not consider Oklahoma the Midwest, you know. I'd go that far west. 
Yeah, yeah but when you talk about like Midwestern not, hospitality, not like that though. Yeah, like you talk about like Midwestern hospitality and the accents and stuff. Like you're changing when you get to Oklahoma, from what people would consider people in Ohio and Chicago speaking like, you know, yeah. and acting like. But yeah, buckle of the Bible Belt. Oh, Alex, your cycling group is doing uh, monthly yoga sessions. Nice. <laughs> Corpulent said one by two by, which is better? Two by all day long. Why would you want less gears? <laughs> I'm always the outlier on this. This is the, the new Brook Saddle on the channel, talking about one by and two by. But... <laughs> and I ain't kidding you. Yeah. Well, like I said, I, I spent time in Oklahoma City, to, well, a day and an evening and the next morning. But, yeah, you look at the map of Oklahoma politically and, yeah, the panhandle and stuff is like, what, 90, 90% like, right? But, yeah, Oklahoma seemed like a pretty, just like a cool city that would be pretty normal, pretty balanced, I guess. I don't sit at the computer, Fat Albert. I always say this. This is the only time I ever sit at a computer. I have a standing desk. I quit sitting years ago. So, yeah. I, 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 I was When I was Photoshopping, I just, no matter what, I found myself leaning in. And after the years on the farm, I knew that I was messing up my back. And I, yeah, did not. I do not sit at the computer. The only time I, the only time I sit with my back not supported is these live streams, really. So, And I used to always stand doing these. So... I just, yeah, sitting all day long. I don't know how people, I don't know how people with office jobs survive with their backs when they sit all day long. So, <laughs> racer, you said you had a recumbent bike for a while last year. Really dug it, but had to sell it. Bit of a learning curve, but it's just like riding a bike. <laughs> I hope you meant that to be funny, because just like riding a bike, you know, get it. Yeah, Cycling Brian's a fellow uh, two-bag guy. <laughs> I've heard some people refer to Ohio as the Mideast, and I think that's fitting. Yeah. How was the focus hunting? Is that what you were doing, Dave? Was mm -hmm. it going in and out? I just took it off. Oh, I just went to, well, it won't anymore. Went to MF, as they say in the biz. <laughs> That's the only thing that means. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cincinnati is definitely rolling. We last time we rode to Cincinnati, like doing the Ohio to Erie, uh, our our rental truck to get home got canceled, and we had to get a, one from a different spot, like out by the airport. Man, we climbed like heck to get there. So. Yeah, Fat, uh, Fat Albert. Um, yeah, down by Mohican is amazing. I'll be down there in a couple weeks, or about a, uh, yeah, a couple weeks for Black Fork. So, yeah, Racer. Some of the books people have recommended talked about being really um, fixing just like normal behaviors for your back. So. Like, yeah, you said going up and down stairs. Like, that's the book that someone sent me and a bunch of people recommended on the last video. I just think the name of the doctor I'm forgetting. There's a lot about that kind of thing. But Oklahoma is the Mid-South, yeah. Oh, you said you're from northern Ohio, and when you moved to Cincinnati, they said you had an accent. Uh, oh, no way. Oh, Doug, you're not the guy I passed on the trail down there last fall, right? Someone, I passed someone who knew the channel, and I said, hey, Tim. And I was just right outside of Cincinnati. I was riding to, Lo no, I was riding to Xenia, where my girlfriend was picking me up. She was there for a work, work conference. And I passed someone, and they um, yelled my name, and I stopped to go talk. And then they were like, nah, just go. And they rode off. And, yeah, I never found out who it was. Oh, 
Uh, Donald, you said you talked to three bike riders on a washed out bike trail section today. They asked if they could ride through, and you had to explain to them that they would get shorted out by the river water. Huh. Huh, Patty, you feel like Iowa, Kentucky, Ohio, and Pennsylvania feel more like the East Coast to you. Huh. Yeah, I think just that kind of stuff changes over time. Like I said, historically it's Midwest, and if you look at a map of the Midwest, Ohio will be jutting out in that that region. I don't know who decides these things, but... I still feel like it's different, though. Having traveled to the East Coast, I do feel like there is a, like a little bit of a different, just a little bit of a different attitude, like of like the Midwest house hospitality, but also the hustle of work being so important and annoyingly so is annoying here. So, Lee Marine subscribed to the channel. Thanks, Lee Marine. Colorado paid Oklahoma for the panhandle, so they went have to touch Texas. <laughs> I actually don't know. I sh that's one thing. I, I love geography stuff. I watch YouTube geography stuff and all that. It would be interesting, but I don't know why Oklahoma has the panhandle. Maybe uh, Maybe someone does. Yeah, Daniel, I hear that a lot about like walking uh, being good for my back. Man. And I just, when it's this, it does loosen up and it helps a lot. Like do, shooting those events over the weekend and walking around, it was, I do think it was beneficial when it's the sciatic nerve pain, maybe it's beneficial. It doesn't matter because I just can't do it. You know, <laughs> it's just too painful. Becoming a supple leopard. Ah. The author says treated writer joints should last 120 years. Only the panhandle would be west in Oklahoma. Yeah. Anyone else doing reg bry this year? I'm not. I don't know. I can't remember if anyone in, who's usually in the chat has mentioned. People ask me all the time, but I can't remember if anyone said they're doing it that we know, like in the group. Hey, what's up, Caitlin? The title becoming a supple leopard. Is that Edmund? Becoming a supple leopard is the best thing you've heard all week. <laughs> and Caitlin, you said you swear by Pilates. Yeah, is the Oklahoma Panhandle just right above that tall part of Texas? Let me take a look at the map. Let's go to the maps. Jay Dandy's not even here. We're going to the maps. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what I was picturing. Yeah, why does that exist? Why is... Because gum Gummon? Oklahoma didn't want to give up Gummon? <laughs> or is that like a parallel where the top of Texas is that had something to do with slave laws? Because if you look at New Mexico, Arizona, Tennessee, North Carolina, it kind of runs across there. Now, Greg, someone asked about this earlier. I'm not thinking recumbent at, at the moment because that's just not the way I want to ride right now, where I want to ride. But at some point, it might be a, might be a, might not have a choice. So, Does the Pan Am in Oklahoma have good gravel riding? How mountain is it? I don't think it's mountainous, is it? Isn't it? Isn't that part <coughs> flat way up there? Is there a Google map that would show? Oh, terrain. There we go. Obviously. Why didn't it? Shouldn't terrain be showing us the terrain? Or is it just flat? <laughs> That's why I'm not seeing any terrain.
Yeah, I think it's I think it's pan flat. Looks like a river valley here, maybe. But Orange oh, Salamander subscribed to the channel. Thanks, Orange Salamander. <laughs> Right, let's zoom out. So there's the panhandle, and you can see what the terrain of like the mountains look like. It doesn't look like there's oh, there's a little bit as you zoom in, but it looks like mostly stuff from river valleys. I don't know. <laughs> Tell Edmund to shut up. I keep having to check to see if my outside cat is crying to get in. <laughs> <laughs> Mono Lake, I need to stand up when I drink and drink lager beers with both hands. It's a serious <laughs> workout. Black Fork is in May. Oh. Huh. Oh, yeah. That buys me some time on being able to climb those stupid hills. <laughs> <laughs> Black Fork is brutal. Oh, that's right. You're in Colorado. I, that threw me off. I was like, wait, am I, I got the right person? Yeah, that's right. You're in Colorado. It's like when Brian said, never in the panhandle, but it's largely high flat with lots of gravel. Hey, what's up, William LeBron? Yeah, where's a good... Uh, Patty said Midwest. Ohio is definitely Midwest when you learned it in school. Yeah, let's, let's see if there's a... Let's see what, just Googling regions of the U.S. map and pulling it up. The first one that comes up is what I'm going to click on so we can see what people are saying or what Google says on the first. I just clicked on one. What the hell is this bullshit? Click on this. Clicking on this. I'm not trying to buy a map. Rick Urbanofsky super chatted $1.99. $1.99 from Rick Urbanofsky. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Why well, I like that. Can we see this map bigger, you stupid fuck? Yeah, this is exactly what I was picturing. Ohio sticking way out. Oh, look, yeah, Oklahoma's not in it, but it goes Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, and North Dakota. Would you have thought North Dakota and South Dakota would be Midwest? Yeah. Huh. <clears> this <throat> says West region, Southwest region, Midwest region, Southeast region, Northeast region. So this breaks it down into only five. Well, not including Alaska and Hawaii. Hello, Nino. Fab said. Ohio is definitely nothing like the East Coast, I would agree. And Melissa, I think it's just how much... Oh, do I not have the... Why are the chat not popping up? Weird. Hmm. It's not working on this screen for some reason. I wonder if it's where it's sitting? Oh, yeah, this is like... All fucking weird. There we go. Yeah, I think it just depends on how many regions you break it down into. Let's see what some other maps show. <laughs> yeah, wrong stream, Dimitri. You need an S on it. You need the maps. This one has Middle Atlantic on it. Oh, this has like sub. This one had. This map has subdivisions. Oh, let me move my face. Let's 
don't let me do it for no reason. Whatever. Forgive me, moving my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one has. Why? Is that, what is that? Is that Missouri? Why does Missouri not make anything? Frontier? No one says that. Have you guys ever heard anyone call it the frontier? Like, what is this? 1840? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even what I consider the frontier. Yeah. Uh, I guess they... Looks like most random maps on Google do go with the five region thing. Oh, here's one that breaks oh, it down way on. more. Oh, this one uses Rust Belt. <clears throat> Appalachia. Appalachia. Mountain West. I've heard Mountain West, though. But... Well, I Texas. Like, <laughs> Texas, yeah, just Texas. <laughs> Deep South, yeah. I guess it's New France. No one says that. Come on. This one has Mid, Mid Atlantic. Go back. Northwest, all right. That really break. West is tiny in that one. Yeah. This one has a place called Old Industry. <laughs> Out west. Out west. This is the dumbest map. See, Great Plains. Yeah, Great Plains. That would be. But it's still Midwest. East, North, Central. No one has ever said that. Oh, here's a newer one that puts the Midwest. This one's stupid, deep too. Deep North? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, Deep North? No one's ever said that. Cascadia? See, I've heard that. I mean, New England, but this is a map put together by a child. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks legit. Edmund, come here. Upland South? East, North, Central. Core area. <laughs> all right, all right. I think we get the picture. Let's see what people are talking about now. <laughs> geography YouTube? That's stupid. Geography never changes. <laughs> Oh, okay, so cycling buying, I was kind of right. Um, the Oklahoma Panhandle couldn't be slave territory because of the Missouri Compromise. So it was, what is that, the 43rd parallel? Something like that. Uh, sounds about right. Racer said, who is watching what on YouTube? I like Space Universe stuff. Yeah, I I watch a, I have a I have a physics space guy I watch called Cool Worlds, but that's and Neil deGrasse Tyson his Star Talk with that comedian I like that a lot too. Do you ever watch that? I can't stand Neil. De I love that topic. I oh, can't stand Neil deGrasse Tyson. You can't just, just the way he talks or just he's just an ass. Oh, I love that. I love that he's like a dick about it. Yeah, but he like takes it too far. Hmm. On his show Star Talk, it's pretty good. It's like he has like a guy for like comic relief. Oh yeah, and they just like do a explainers. They pick like one thing, like yeah. He, I just think he's a pompous ass. Hmm. Till he talks about religion, then he gets like super serious and like completely normal. Yeah, and, like very in, well. He's obviously intelligent, but like all the smart ass goes away. He just so I don't completely hate the guy. Yeah, Dimitri, like, I'm mostly photography and videography stuff. Probably, man, camera stuff. I, I probably watch 60% of YouTube on photography stuff, I would guess. Maybe 20% on cycling, and then the other 10 is split up between history and science. 
and once in a while some general entertainment. But Otis Gibbs channel? What is that? Rick, lots of YouTube news. Rick still pays attention to the news. I, I can't do it. Bushcraft, yeah. I, I, Bushcraft is working its way into a larger percent of my <laughs> viewing. <laughs> I loved, I loved uh, what was his name? That from Colorado, the band. But I think they use Mile High on this channel. But Common Birds is the band. When he was like, I've watched thousands of hours of bushcraft videos and I still probably couldn't start a fire in an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> Unbounced. <clears throat> huh. Otis, I'll have to look. What does this Otis do? Or is this news? I don't. Or politics? No, thank you. Oh, yeah. Bike Farmer. I just see. Yeah. Pathless Pedal put out a little podcast with him today. So, yeah. I want to check that out. I've only watched a couple of his videos, the ones you guys have shared in the Discord. I've watched two or three of them. But. Uh, most asked, how brutal is Black Fork? It's. I think it's like 60 miles and it's a little over 60 miles and over six, 6,000 feet of elevation. So if you're from the West or somewhere, it probably doesn't seem that bad, but it's real steep, punchy gravel climbs. There's a, there's one that's pretty much unrideable cause it's a washed out road. So I think it's a tough ride. Even if you just go out to ride it just to finish, not even race it, you're, you're going to be anyone who finishes black fork has done a really good ride. So. Oh, William, that's my buddy Dave. <laughs> In my school, they taught us Ohio was a cultural wasteland. <laughs> yeah. For a while, I was considered the cradle of presidents. Cleveland has one of the best orchestras in the world. Devo's from here. What do you guys got in Philly? Bell Bib DeVoe? Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> we got the blimp. We got the blimp. Yeah. What more culture is that? Out said lots of cactus up there in Oklahoma. Yeah, I've never been to that that part of Oklahoma. And even when I did my trip, we started in Dallas, Texas, and we're going west, so I've never been up there. Uh, Chris said, lived in lived for years in South Dakota. East of the Missouri River is the Midwest, but west of the river is not. Huh. The dividing lines are geographical and cultural, but not necessarily state borders. Yeah. William said the Black Hills. Yeah, I've never been up there at all. I would love to. I said, usually think of AZ and Arizona and New Mexico as a sub region of the Mountain West. Deep North. Oh, yeah, these are all the comments on the maps I was pulling up. I don't see Del Marva listed. <laughs> uh, I remember hearing that from when I when we used to vacation out that way. Oklahoma is not part of the Southwest. Yeah, Sun Belt's a term I've definitely heard, but I think it's more like Rust Belt. It's it's a region, but it's not a defined, you know, and it's. Somebody called Jay Dandy. Yeah, you missed the big map night. Oh, Dimitri, see you later. Probably missed you, but have a good night. Which Great Lake is the best one? That's a good question. Man, I think I want to say Michigan. Michigan's amazing. <clears throat> the lakes like over this way are nicer because you could swim in them because they're not freezing in the middle of summer, but Michigan is like, the beaches on Lake Michigan are just amazing. Then Superior is just another. Superior is just a, it might as it's an inland sea. It's insane, but you can't swim in it. It's too cold, and it's violent. So. It's violent. Yeah, I've only Superior seen. Superior said never. I've only seen two of them. 
Superior said never gives up its dead when the gales of November come early. I named my cat after that song. <laughs> after the beer. After the beer. After the song. That's, that's named, named after, after the, the shipwreck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many YouTubers are utterly annoying. Yeah. I mean, so many of everything is utterly annoying. I think YouTube's a pretty good spread of the population. Ah, oh, Chris, I didn't see you. I didn't see that comment. The most important map is the pop versus soda boundaries. Yeah, I found, like growing up, nobody ever said anything around here but pop or just Coke. Like Coke is a blanket for any. Um, but now I found like soda making a lot of inroads around here. I've, oh, like, soda, I've, soda's taking a hold for sure. I know. I've accidentally said it a couple times. I'm like, what the fuck is this Florida bullshit or wherever you guys <laughs> say that weird I, stuff? I'm guilty. Yeah. I never said it till I was like the last five years. I feel like. I think it started out of irony, and then it just kind of stuck. Soda, yeah, like I'm gonna get a soda. Right. Yeah. Put a straw in my soda. <laughs> <laughs> How people still say Coke and that Coke. doesn't Coke. mean Coke. Yeah, Coke just means anything carbonated. It's so funny when you're at a restaurant in Ohio. Like, I think Coke is almost more popular than just saying pop because you'll be at a restaurant and you'll be like oh, i'll take a coke and they'll be like we only have pepsi and i'm like yeah i said a coke just give it to yeah. you <laughs> right. <You're> fucking idiot <laughs> <laughs> would you just move here from florida <laughs> uh, no offense to anyone from florida except most of the people from florida <laughs> I got family in Florida. I'm allowed. I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I have Flor the best Floridian. friends from Florida. <laughs> yeah, I have Floridian friends. Oh, <laughs> uh, Alex. Yeah, city plan. I do watch city planning. I watch Strong Towns. I just watched their latest video. A really good one. The city planning ones I watch are Strong Towns and what's it? Not just bikes. And I actually, I think not just bikes is from the recommendations from this channel doing the live streams. People brought it up and. That's, that's a great channel. Oh, you're trying to talk about bikes? We're talking about we're talking about sodas. Yeah. <laughs> Everything oh. other than bikes. Yeah, I think I do think though. So the reason we're not doing it tonight, I think next week will finally be the big bike photo show, and we'll do bike photos for like two hours straight. Just to, again, I'll explain the rules. Uh, Next week, it'll be in the Discord. You'll have to post it in a special section after a certain time. I'll post a YouTube post and a Discord post about it. Not doing it tonight because, like I said, I don't want to stream super long because of my back. And last week, I didn't get home in time to do it. I got home in time to like start streaming at 9.05, I think. But yeah, sorry I keep putting that off. I really want to do that again where we just go bikes the whole entire night. And there will also be a separate channel for channel members who will get to put their bikes in. This will be a new thing. And so channel members will get to get their bikes sprinkled in more often. I think it's a cool thing to do for people who pay me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was hit or miss on. Well, so I think I watched maybe four bike farmer videos. I thought the one where he was like satiring every style of rider was really funny. I thought the one where he like went on like a riding adventure and just got sick was boring. But yeah, but that's anything. I mean, I'm sure half my, you know, well, from you guys, like I know some people like certain kind of videos. They don't like the other ones. So anyone watch train hopping videos on YouTube? You went through a phase. No, I haven't. Hey, what's up, Mark? Uh, Greg's asking about the bike expo, but I'm sure Rick has already answered that in the comments. Bell Biv DeVoe. <laughs> That's, Bell Biv DeVoe is my like Philly reference. Like, what's another band from Philly? Boys to Men, but they're all the same. Yeah. Boys to Men, ABC, BBD, BBD. the East Coast family. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where we are. 
Dave W. actually asked a relevant question to what I do here on YouTube. <laughs> he said, what cam and mic do I use on the bike now? So use the GoPro 11. I didn't upgrade to the 12. Uh, I didn't find that's the first time in a while. I haven't found it super compelling. Most of the mic stuff is straight off the GoPro, but I have a windscreen on it. But if I do something where I'm really talking to someone, you could tell the audio is different than I have wireless road uh, mics on when we're doing that. But that's the minority of the time. If it's me just talking to the camera while riding, it's the GoPro with a, a windscreen all the way around it. So I shoot it in 5.3K and then pull a 4K uh, 16 by 9 frame out of it and it gives me that ability to frame up and down which i love so if i want the bars in it i could go a little lower if i want the scenery in it i could go a little higher it's very hard on computers though so uh the new mac kind of cuts through it pretty easily but did did mono lake said did chrissy high not paint a pretty picture of ohio in her song no that i mean that song is specifically about moving back to akron like uh and coming back and Akron was a shit show in the early 80s and all the way through most of the 90s and still recovering. But yeah, she came back. The city had torn down so many cool buildings, had told, torn down the downtown street Howard and all the buildings on it and put up super blocks where First Energy is headquartered and it's very ugly. So yeah, that's what that song is about. So. But Chrissy Hine then, the last what, from early 2000s or mid 2000s no mid 2000s for like 10 years was living back here even opened a restaurant for a while uh, so, vegetarian vegetarian she would come down to the farm she would go out to the bars and get fucking smashed that's usually what they, they all come back well past their prime and get shit faced at the local bar yeah that's make fools of themselves yeah <laughs> I was talking about the best lake. Erie has some, Lake Erie has some beautiful parts. And like I said, Lake Erie gets warm in the summer and you could swim in it easily. But there are some pr really pretty beaches on Lake Erie. But Michigan is just, it's next. I mean, it just feels totally different. And like I said, Superior is just insane. And I never saw it till this summer when we went riding on Grand Island and I was just blown away by it. In terms of Ohio, one thing to consider is you're far enough you're far enough west that you could road trip to Colorado. I've done it, yeah. Drove all the way to Vegas and then spent drove back and spent some time in Colorado when I had friends out there in Boulder. And then even drove up into what's the state right above it? Wyoming. Camp one night up there too. Uh, Christopher Webb said, the two coolest YouTube videos you've seen lately show what it would look like to move through the solar system from the sun at the speed of light. Ha, huh, one is 50 minutes long and the other is 24 hours long. Dang. Ah, so you're saying it's 16 hours from your front door in Colorado to your hometown in northwest Ohio. What? How fast do you go in a I can't in an I airplane? Like <laughs> Yeah, it's gotta be longer than that, right? Me and Pat drove there and we made it back in twenty four nonstop. Twenty four hours nonstop. Uh -huh. I can't I have that all logged from when me and Brad did it because we drove straight to Vegas without stopping. Yeah, just like one sleeps the other yeah, drives, right? Only stopping for gas. Like we ate on the road, right. everything. We had a mattress in the back of the van. I barely slept because, of course, we, like, got into Colorado. Like, when it's my turn to sleep and we're, like, going through the mountain passes. And I'm like, I'm not sleeping through this. Yeah, exactly. But... Using the word soda as a byproduct of COVID. Is that how far behind I am in the chat? <laughs> you did kind of get a little sidetracked. Yeah. No, not that oh, Alex, I've not watched that a couple that. City Beautiful videos. I don't watch them all, though. Oh, Fat Albert said, is it a sub grinder or a hoagie? We say subs here mostly, but all... Those are three different sandwiches. Uh, there you go. Let's <laughs> elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a hoagie is. Is the hoagie the meat? No, 
a hoagie and a sub are the same thing. Oh, it's like different bread. Different bread? What would you put on okay, a Okay, maybe I don't know what the difference between a sub <laughs> and a hoagie is, but a grinder is where they shave the, and then oh. they like put it through the oven. Yeah, because there's restaurants that advertise having grinders. I didn't know if that was just a term. Or... Yeah, that, that's that's where like everything is shaved or shredded uh, or whatever. Everything is shaved? <laughs> You've had some uh, quick-witted one I'm on fire tonight. <laughs> Not doing anyone any good, but... Abandoned mind channels are a decent rabbit hole. That's one I haven't gone down. David W. said bike farmer and the bike shop asshole video. Oh, the roots are from Philly. Okay. So something has happened since Bell Bib DeVoe. They rubbed me the wrong way, and I can't remember what it was. There was a Lauren Hill video interview in like the '90s that pissed me off. There was something about Bob Marley, which, of course. Was that supposed to say Bell Bib DeVos from Boston? I don't think so, right? Greg said Philly never had any good punk bands when you were young, but they all played in Philly. All right, let's see it. Let's see if I can get one. Nemo Sandoval super chatted two dollars. Two dollars from Nemo Sandoval. Just don't call a hot dog a glizzy. I am a hundred percent on board with that. Where did this come from? Why? Is, why is everyone saying this? I don't know, but it's hilarious. Yeah, my nephew kept saying like. He's like, no, these are glizzies. And I'm like, not in this house. See, kids can't. It's not funny when the kids are actually talking like that. It's funny when us old yeah. people are saying. When when you're not supposed to be saying yeah. it is when yeah. it's hilarious. That's how I feel about everything. Like, <laughs> hanging well, on that's to, true. Hanging on, hanging on to terms. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I haven't seen you in a grip. <laughs> the more out of date they are, the better. Like, the, just the right amount of out of date, you know. Yeah, when when a kid up up to college age talks like that, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. But then you get a middle aged man that says, "Yeah, calls perfect. a hot dog a glizzy." Yeah. that's hilarious. Yeah, or says something fucks. <laughs> <laughs> this beer fucks. <laughs> Bell Bib DeVoe taught a generation not to trust big. But with a smile. <laughs> Fat Albert, I, all, the description always has the... If I get the music not from YouTube music, there's always a link to the music in the description. When I get it from YouTube creator music, I just name the band and say that's where it's from because there's no way to link directly to it. It's just the nature. I don't know why they should have a link to it, but so I just write. I just write the name of the band and say it's from Creator Music. So, which I think anyone has access to. So, I think you just need to go to the music. Go to your own page. Go to YouTube Music wherever it is on the sidebar, and then type in the name of that band. But yeah, I always credit. The, I always credit the bands, and if I if I don't, it's a total mistake. But like especially, uh, there we go. I lost my spot. But yeah, so it's been, like when it's friends or someone trades me music, like when Common Birds, who I brought up earlier, I'll put their name right on screen. But Wait, who said there's no punk bands from Philly? I don't remember why. Do you look at punk bands from Philly? Yeah, Dead Milkmen are from Philly. Oh yeah, the dead, the, one of the greatest punk bands of all time. I I don't think I knew the Dead Milkmen were from Philly. They moved though. I didn't know that until I read this list. Yeah, I think they moved somewhere, didn't they? Poison is about a girl who gave them all the clap. Yeah, I've definitely heard that before. Johnny Brenda's in Philly. Always great music. Hmm. Oh, what's up, Madison? I had mentioned you earlier when we were talking about stuff. About comments.
Oh, you're talking about the Chrissy Hine thing where she references Seneca Falls. Yeah. She also run references Cuyahoga Falls and that. So we have on camera. What? Oh, I've had you just on there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I think that's from when you started talking about grinders. Is it nah, you on... went back. Oh, good, good. <laughs> well, some... At least I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I hope it has Someone might have said something, but I'm not that far down in the com comments. Oh, Jay Dandy is in here. You did? Were you here for all the maps, Jay Dandy? Oh, First Energy. Yeah, I, I don't want to discuss their bailout scam, but First Energy, First Energy has done a lot of corrupt stuff. I actually photograph. They started a whole office of ethics because of all their bullshit about two years ago. And so they sent me all the people who were working in the office office of ethics, and it was mostly young people starting out their career who were willing to take that paycheck and go do that work. But yeah, I thought it was funny. It's like, oh, you first enter, you think this is going to fix all your problems is starting an office of ethics, but paid well for me. So I'll, I'll take their dirty money <laughs> and buy bike stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Recycle it into the bike industry and camera industry. Bell Bib DeVoe is from Massachusetts. Huh. I just assumed all those bands were from Philadelphia. You know, Motown. If you're going to get name check in Motown, Motown Philly. Philly. Yeah. yeah, what the hell? My life has been a lie. Boys to men weren't telling me the truth. What about, a where's ABC from? You're going to tell me they're from, like, Chicago now. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely not the East Coast family. Yeah. Another another bad creation. That's a bad story. They were the kid ones, right? They were, like, real young. No, was it? Yeah, I think so. All right, I got to catch up. Drink Water actually asked a bike question with someone. Any recommendations for a cheap set of friction thumbs that will shift Shimano 2x10? Uh, oh man, I don't know. Yeah, see if someone else answers something that will get you uh, 10 speed with thumb shifters. I'm not sure. That's a good pathless pedal. Probably has the video about that. Yeah, I always said subs for anything, but I, people say hoagies, but uh, not around here. Yeah, when I was just out in Boston, uh, Eric one night went to a sub shop and he brought back subs, and I'm so used to like Subway being what people consider subs now. But these were like classic subs where they don't make the you know oil and vinegar on them, mm. and like the shredded lettuce and everything. That's just you're like this is what I remember when there were real sub shops around when I was a kid. Like it was awesome, and I don't know if Boston is known for subs, but they have a awesome sub shop that he went way out of his way for. <clears throat> to me, a hoagie is like you see them in like the pre-made sandwiches at the gas station. Yeah, it's like just the meat and cheese. Yeah. And nothing else on it. Hoagie. <laughs> Thanks, Jay Dandy. Oh, still, yeah, and on the lakes. Lake Ontario is great on both sides with the Niagara River and St. Lawrence. Oh, you're saying they don't know what a pizza sub is in Colorado. What was this thing we were talking about? There was something we were talking about in Boston that my friend Eric, he's from Youngstown, has lived in Akron, but his wife has been in Boston for a couple decades. And I'm trying to think of what we were saying that she didn't know about. One was a pumpkin roll, but that wasn't the main one. Huh, I'm trying to remember what that was. Yeah, Bone Thugs and Harmony is from Cleveland. East Nanda Nanda Now, Brian, second Brian doesn't know about a uh, Glizzy yet. Belvib DeVoe are half of New Edition, who are from Boston. Interesting. Oh, and Jim James had mentioned Belvib DeVoe, or Belvib DeVoe, Dead Milkman. Yeah. I went to see the Dead Milkman at a free Halloween show. Uh, my friends Kill the Hippies opened up with the best Halloween costumes ever because they went as Kiss, but every single member was dressed as Peter Chris. <laughs> <laughs> best costume of all time for a band, hands down. But the Dead Milkmen were about to play and the power went out. 
and then they ended up playing just through their guitars with no power because the power never came back on. And it was cool that they tried, but it sucked. I wanted to see the Dead Milkman play. And you could only really hear if you were like right up there. But All right. Christopher Webb said Punk Rock Girl comes up on your... Yeah, that's their most famous song for sure. Oh, yeah, Rick, Johnny Brenda's is the place. Yeah, and you wanted to show me the stage upstairs, but they they didn't let us go up there and see it. But, yeah, that bar was awesome. The, yeah, I was like, Rick took me to this place, and he was like, this is probably your style. And we're in there, and, like, the Velvet Underground is playing and stuff like that. The people around there were our people. They had good beer. And then right when we were about to get up and leave, I saw that they actually had natural wine, too. And I'm like, oh, I want to get a glass of natural wine now, too. So... Yeah, it started me and Rick on the uh, quite a uh, bender. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, Big Litters in My Backyard is definitely my favorite uh, Dead Milkman record. A lot of bands from around, around Philly are called Philly bands. Every time Jay Dandy is late, I should say, did you see all the maps? <laughs> but tonight is true. <laughs> Taken to the zoo is, yeah. Red said, check out So So, punk band from Melbourne, Australia. I just used a punk band from Australia in my last Instagram story, uh, Radio Birdman. Now everyone's saying micro shift on the thumbers. ABC is from England. The look of love when Smokey sings. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got it. I'm going to try and get through the. See if I can catch up a little and wrap it up. Like I said, it's getting late and I need to get out of this chair. I need to do some stretching and get to the heating pad. Just don't ask for mayo on your Italian sub in Boston. They'll boot you right out. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see Rick's comment? New Dave, you badmouth hoagies one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that. Oh, so this description of a grinder says it's a sub toasted in a pizza oven. Yeah, Bitchin' Camaro is awesome. That's another one. That's on Big Lizard. Stuart. I'm glad we have a crowd here that knows the dead milkman. Fire Hose is your favorite punk band. The lead singer's guitar stage name was Ed from Ohio. Fire Hose. Oh, I was thinking you meant, at first second I thought Firehouse, which was that cheesy 80s hair rock band. Oh, yeah. I, the song was just on the tip of my mind, and now I lost it. Uh, I can picture the uh, album. Yeah. It was like, wasn't it a chick or a kid standing like way out front with a burning house in the background? That was one of their albums. Mark Thorogood said the Chats are another newish Aussie punk band. All right, Hog Dog. See you later. Have a good night. Blackball said good Cleveland bands. Brew Boo, Death of Samantha, Mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up, Rick? He said, have you heard of the Black Keys? Did you know they're from Akron? <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell all our Black Keys stories again about Pat. Uh, is Firehose, because you, you mentioned Patty the Minutemen, uh, are they an SST band? Besides the Descendants, I never really got into a lot of that other stuff. Oh, yeah, Racer the Saints. The Saints are awesome.
We need to start a GoFundMe to fly Patty Redbeard here for the channel meetup ride. You're right. That would be a good idea. Ties is a very good Aussie punk band. I don't know them. All right. I'm caught up. I think we, we'll wrap it up tonight, like I said. Um, on the shifter thing, a lot of people, the micro shift ones, are all saying they're good. So that sounds like a, a solid recommendation for the thummies. But yeah, thanks everyone for hanging out. We obviously didn't talk about bikes very much tonight, but oh well, that's how live streams go. But yeah, so like I said, if you want to get in on the big bike photo stream next week, that information will be in the Discord. Pop that up in the chat. But we will only it will, we will only be following the rules I laid out. If you want your photos to be seen, you have to follow the rules. And so there'll be a post, like I said, that's on the community tab on the YouTube page and then in the Discord. So that'll be underneath the live stream thing. And so, yeah, let everyone know how it's going to work. And I'll let everyone know what you need to post. And also remember DSO. Drive side out, baby. <laughs> All right. Thanks as always, guys. See you in the next one. Okay, bye. All right. Okay, this time. <laughs> Fitzwater photo. <laughs>